Well, with just two weeks to go until the midterm election, CBS News has obtained an intelligence assessment saying China is likely seeking to influence several races. This comes amid national security concerns about threats to operations and election officials. CBS's Mark Strassman reports tonight on accusations of voter intimidation in the battleground state of Arizona. Armed vigilantes dressed in tactical gear patrol ballot drop boxes near Phoenix. Disruptive, even intimidating. Multiple voters have filed formal complaints. In this home stretch, Buenas tardes. for 2022's midterm elections, Arizona may be America's hotbed for election conspiracy theorists. We're going to take a sledgehammer to these damn electronic voting machines. Republican Carrie Lake running for governor here pushes suspicions about shadowy threats to voter integrity without a shred of proof. Mark Fincham, Arizona's Republican Secretary of State candidate, tweeted, watch all drop boxes, period. Save the republic. Threats to harass you online, but also threats to physically harm you. Stephen Richer is the Maricopa County Recorder, in charge of voter registration and in this room, counting early voting. This Republican's appalled by his own party's election deniers. It's especially frustrating when people knowingly do it to satisfy a selfish desire for political gain or for pecuniary gain. Early voters now crowd polls across America. Over the weekend, 80,000 Georgians voted in a single day. Compared to the same day four years ago, an increase of 159%. Other states, like North Carolina and Florida, report similar surges for many reasons, including the fight to control the U.S. Senate. These 10 states featured dogfights for Senate seats. One of them, Pennsylvania. CBS News has learned behind the scenes, former President Trump has encouraged state lawmakers to repeal a law that allows all voters to mail in ballots. The sheriff here has been looking into reports that early voters are being harassed and he just referred two cases to prosecutors for criminal charges. Nora? That's significant. Mark Schossman, thank you.